In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top three best builds in NBA 2K22 next gen. Also, before we do open things, if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe. It helps you out so much, it literally costs nothing, it takes five seconds. I'm going to start with the best big man build, then I'll do the best wing build, and then finally I'll wrap things up with the best guard build. So starting things off with the big man build for the position, I'd recommend going with the center position. You can also go power forward if you want to, but I just think center is overall the best. For the body settings, first for the height, I'd recommend going with 6 foot 11. This is overall the best balance in my opinion between defense, finishing, and also speed and acceleration. For the weight, I'd recommend dropping this down to 219. And then for the wingspan, go ahead, bump this up to 7 foot 9 inches. Again, these body settings are just overall very good and well-rounded. So starting things off with the finishing attributes and badges. First for the close shot, I recommend bumping this up to a 92. For the driving dunk, you're gonna want this in a 77. And then go ahead and max out your standing dunk at a 99. This means you're gonna get a Hall of Fame posterizer. You're just gonna be dunking on everyone. As you guys can see, we have no post control, which is in my opinion, not that big of a deal. This is definitely not designed to be a post scoring build. For shooting, I would recommend going with a 77 mid range and a 75 three pointer. You're gonna have in total 20 shooting badges. Trust me, 100%, this build can shoot very consistently. You're not gonna get bailed out with any whites, but as long as you're able to time your jump shot consistently, trust me, you're gonna be able to shoot. For playmaking, the only thing that matters is you upgrade your pass accuracy i'd recommend upgrading this to an 85 this way you can get 12 playmaking badges and also you can get hall of fame break starter and gold bolt passer next for the defensive slash rebounding you're gonna want to max out your interior bump up both your skill and your perimeter to a 69 next for the block you're gonna want this at a 97 for the offensive rebound put this up to an 87 and then finally for the defensive rebound bump this up to a 91 in total, you're going to have 34 defensive badges, which is overall insane. You get pretty much every single important big man badge and at least gold or higher, as well as Hall of Fame Rim Protector and Hall of Fame Intimidator. And then next for the physicals, you're going to want your speed at a 73, your acceleration at a 68, your strength maxed out at a 62, your vertical at an 80, and then finally for the stamina, you're going to want this at an 85. As you guys can see, your physicals are very, very good. Also, I decided not to upgrade acceleration too much since it mostly helps with dribbling with the ball. Also, you do have like one rating left. You just have to throw it on free throws to so go ahead and do that. This build in total has 95 badges, which is very good. It's not anything too crazy, but as you guys can see, this build can do pretty much everything. You're going to be dunking on everyone with standing dunks. Your defense is absolutely superb. You will be able to facilitate with an 85 pass accuracy. And also, you're going to be a lethal popper. If you do want free throw on this build, all you're going to want to do is drop down your offensive rebound to an 82. Also, if you drop down your stamina one rating, you can get a 68 free throw. Moving on to the takes for the first takeover, I went with see the future. And then for the secondary takeover, I went with stuff blocks. And then as you guys can see, I built a two way facilitator moving on to the wing build. So moving on to the second build of this video, this is going to be a wing build for the position. I'd recommend going with small forward, but you can also go shooting guard if you want to. For the height, I'd recommend dropping this down to six foot five. I mean, just look how much this helps your attributes, especially with the speed and acceleration. Not to mention, if you drop down your weight to 179, you can get a 91 acceleration, which is crazy. And then next for the wingspan, you're going to want this at six foot nine. This way, it just helps out your shooting a little bit. For the finishing attributes and badges, first for the close shot, you're going to want this at a 46. For the driving layup, you're going to want this at a 64. And then for the driving dunk, you're going to want this at an 84. You're going to have in total 13 finishing badges. And obviously, this isn't going to be a rim running or slasher build. But you will be catching the occasional contact dunk. And also, if you have an open lane towards the basket, you can 100% take it. Next, for the shooting attributes and badges, first for the mid-range, you're going to want this at a 76. And then for the three-pointer, you're going to want this at an 88. You will have in total 26 shooting badges. And 100%, this build is just not going to be missing at all. You're going to be able to green very consistently. And also, since you have a high three-pointer, you also will be able to make a pretty good amount of whites. So moving on to playmaking, first for the pass accuracy, you're going to want this at a 73. For the ball handling, you're going to want this at an 86. And then you're also going to want your speed of ball at an 86. This build in total has 27 playmaking badges, which is very good. But obviously, this build is not really going to be your primary ball handling build. But if you want to dribble in the twos or something, you 100% can. 
And then moving on to defensive slash rebounding. First for the interior defense, you're going to want this at a 57. For the perimeter, you're going to want this at a 94. For the steel, you're going to want this at a 90. And then moving on to the block, you're going to want this at a 65. This build in total has 22 defensive badges, which isn't crazy. But you have Hall of Fame claims and Hall of Fame interceptor on a very fast six foot five build that's going to be able to keep up with those very short guards. For this reason, I honestly don't think it's that crazy to run this build as your primary lockdown. And also, if you want to drop shooting or playmaking to upgrade rebounding to get some insane amount of badges, 100% you can, but this is just what I would recommend doing. So moving on to the physicals, first the acceleration max this thing out at a 91. For the speed, you're going to want this at an 87. For the strength, you're going to want this at a 32. For the vert, bump this up to an 80. And then finally, for the stamina, you're going to want this at a 92. Also, again, you just have a few ratings left. Go ahead, throw it on free throw. This build in total has 80 badges, which I'm not going to lie, isn't that crazy. But on this build, I was just very, very focused on getting the key badges, such as Hall of Fame Clamps and Hall of Fame Interceptor, as well as the key attributes such as interior defense. And I wasn't really focused as much on the total badge count. But all around, the dunking on this build is going to be pretty decent. You're going to be able to shoot the lights out of the building. Your playmaking is also pretty good. You're able to move around the court pretty well. And then your defensive slash rebounding is going to be very, very good. Good. If you do want free throw on this build, what I'd recommend doing is drop down your block 10 ratings. This will give you a 73 free throw, which is my opinion more than good enough to knock down free throw. And then moving on to the takeovers for the first takeover, I'd recommend going with extreme clamps. And then for takeover number two, I'd recommend either going with limitless range or spot up precision. For me personally though, I'm gonna go with limitless range. And as you guys can see, I built a two-way three-point shot creator, which as I've been saying for a while, is probably my favorite name to get on a build. Moving on to the guard build. So hopping right into the guard build for this build, I'd recommend going with point guard. Definitely, this build is going to be best suited for the point guard position. For the height, I recommend dropping this down to six foot. For the weight, you're gonna wanna go with 171, and then for the wingspan, go with six foot five. These are all around the best body settings. You're gonna be pretty fast, and at the same time, have at least decent defense. Starting things off with finishing, go ahead and max out your driving dunk, and then scroll back up the close shot, bump this up to a 54. You're gonna have in total 16 finishing badges, which I'm not gonna lie, isn't that crazy. But you will get the pro contact dunk package and the small contact dunk package. And even though this isn't a rim running build, if you do have an open lane towards the basket, you can 100% take it. Moving on to shooting, first for the three pointer, you're gonna wanna max this out at a 92, and for the mid range, you're gonna want this at an 81. In total, you're going to have 30 shooting badges, which is very good, and you're just not going to be missing. Also, not to mention, if you get jump shot boost, you're going to get a 97 three-pointer, which is crazy. And then moving on to playmaking, first for the pass accuracy, you're going to want this at an 86. And then for the ball handling, you're going to want to max this out. And for the speed of the ball, you're also going to want to max this out. In total, you're going to have 34 playmaking badges, which is very good. As well as Hall of Fame Quick Chain and Hall of Fame Quick First Step, which are, in my opinion, very important badges for a point guard build. And then moving on to defense, first for the perimeter defense, max this thing out at a 94. And for the steel, you're going to want this at a 90. Obviously, since you are six feet tall, your defense isn't going to be that crazy. But you do want to have at least a little bit of defense if you're planning on playing twos. And even if you're playing pro-am or threes, you're going to want to be able to bump people and be in passing lanes. So for this reason, we have 21 defensive badges and Hall of Fame claims and Hall of Fame Interceptor. And then next, moving on to the physicals. First for the speed, you're going to want this at an 85. For the acceleration, you're going to want this at a 93. For the vertical, bump this up to an 85 as well. And, and then throw the rest of your ratings onto stamina. You should have a 90. Also, again, you do have one rating left. Just throw it on free throw. In total, this build has 101 badges, which is crazy. And all around, this build can do everything that I wanted to do. Its three-point hunting and playmaking capabilities are crazy. And at the same time, you can rim run a little bit if you want to. And not to mention, you're not going to be a major defensive liability. If you do want free throw on this build, all you have to do is drop down your speed ball one rating. You will get a 76 free throw, which is pretty good, but you will lose one playmaking badge. And then moving on to the takeovers for the first takeover, I'd recommend going with limitless range. And for the secondary takeover, again, I'd recommend going with limitless range. Overall, on a point guard build that's primarily going to be three point hunting, these are definitely 100% the best takeovers. And then as you guys can see, I built a two way three point playmaker, which is honestly such a cool name in my opinion. If you did make it this far into the video, I appreciate it so much. Also, if you found it helpful, drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. 
There's a gameplay video of me using a six foot seven point guard build, a dribble tutorial, and a jump shot video on the screen right now. Like, comment, subscribe, go follow me on Twitter, and I'm out. Peace.